Today I'm going to show you how to make jerky. For heaven's sake, don't do it the way I do it. It's going to be poisonous, toxic, lethal. So don't do it this way. I'm just showing you how I do it. Hey, it's the snowman and welcome to another very exciting video from SNO Multimedia. Today I'm going to show you how to make jerky. I'm using beef, but you can use any red meat that you like. Don't use pork and don't use chicken. So your good options that are very common are beef, lamb, venison, that kind of thing. You can make it out of goat and you're going to season it pretty heavily. So if it's got a gamey taste, it's not going to bother you. It's uh, really tasty and fun. And that's actually the downside of making jerky around here is we can't keep it. We make it, we eat it. And if you find yourself in a survival situation and you're uh, hunting game, you're not going to be able to eat a whole deer in short order. So you need some different ways of preserving it and drying, salting, smoking. Those are all very good options. So there's a few steps you're going to do. You're going to get your meat. You're going to cut it into strips. You're going to put it on a rack. Like I'm going to use skewers so we can hang it in the smokehouse and then we'll finish the drying process to really store the meat a long time. It needs to dry completely, but I don't like to eat it that way. So I don't dry it completely. I dry it to the point where it's chewy, not to the point where it breaks. Okay. So I'm going to cut this into strips and I'll put it in the bowl and I'll show you the seasoning. First thing you want to do is you want to start with a very sharp knife, make your job a lot easier. I'm using a sirloin tip roast because I love the flavor of it. Another very good option is an eye of round because you want to use lean cuts about an inch, anywhere between an inch and two inches thick. A razor sharp knife really helps this job. Especially as you get into the grisly part there in the center of the cut. See, that's a nice strip. That's going to make a nice jerky strip. I came across this nice lean part here and I just couldn't resist shaving off a little part. I like to check the sweetness of the meat. Now, of course, you're not going to do this because the most important thing in life is to follow all government guidelines. So never eat raw or undercooked meat products. It will kill you. However, I don't care about their guidelines and I like to check the meat. So here you go. It's really nice because as you can see, I had it in the fridge for a couple of days and so it dried along the outside. So this strip of meat along the outside has already lost some of its moisture and concentrated the flavors of the meat. I weighed this on a scale and it turned out to be seven pounds of sirloin strips. One teaspoon of salt per pound of meat means two and one third tablespoons. I'm going to put one tablespoon of black pepper and I'm going to put, I don't know, what's that? About a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. You can add cumin, garlic, soy sauce. I like to make it with soy sauce. Uh, but the idea here is to keep it simple and show you a recipe that uh, has ingredients that you're likely to have in a doomsday situation. All right, so add all those things, stir it all together. We're taking the meat out to the smokehouse now. I've already got a fire started and uh, so I'm going to hang the meat now and then I'm going to put some smoking wood on it. I'm using fruit wood. I have just a few pieces of crab apple tree. You can use uh, apple wood, pear wood, cherry, anything fruity is going to be good. Just make sure you strip the leaves off because they have a lot of tannins in them, which makes it bitter. I'll put this green wood on the fire on these coals and then we'll come back and check in an hour. After smoking it, for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Uh, brought it inside, put a fan on it, 
and it blew all night. So now it should be dry. The thinner pieces are done, like this one, and the thicker pieces need to dry some more. This is a great way to preserve meat um, if you don't have a lot of high technology. Just uh, put some salt and spices to it, hang it out to dry, and you've got preserved meat. Okay, Snowman here. I hope you enjoyed the program on beef jerky. Try this recipe. It's real simple. Go to the blog. I have the recipe on the blog. It's very simple, and uh, anybody can do it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the blog.